Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 18th through to the 24th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. I would like to celebrate any of you Geminis celebrating birthdays this week. A very happy birthday. So um, let's get to your reading. First up, we have the King of Wands in the upright position, followed then by um, Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. And next we have Major Arcana Temperance in the upright. And now we have the Knight of Swords upright along with the Nine of Cups in the upright. All of your cards here are upright. You've got two of the funny Taurus just got this. You've got some of the same cards as Taurus and uh, and uh, Aries. Hmm. Well, you could be dealing with an Aries. Here we go. We've got the King of Wands here in the upright position. <laughs> Gemini, this could be either you yourself acting and embodying the energies of the King of Wands, which the King of Wands is someone who's very active. This could be a week you see your, see yourself perhaps wanting to travel, wanting to move. It's all about physical activity, getting things going, getting projects started, that kind of thing, making plans. The King of Wands is a big planner. So some of you could be just making pl these plans and like uh, instantly uh, implementing them. For others of you, uh, like I said, this fire energy, Aries Leo Sag, so some of you, perhaps you're dealing with a fire sign that's sort of lighting a fire under you. Perhaps this is someone else. This could be your business partner. This could be a love interest. This could be pretty much anyone because it's just a general read. Family member, friend, somebody who's getting you moving, getting you going, getting you started. And coming right off the hop. We do have this. I'm very happy to see this for you, Gemini. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune right at the beginning of the week. So this represents being in the right place at the right time. This is clicking in with the energies of the universe. We're no longer resisting anything. We're just sort of going with the energies, going with the groove, and uh, therefore everything is unfolding beautifully. So perhaps if this is you taking action there, Jeff and I, maybe you're taking action in all the right things. You're there to meet your destiny. It's time to meet your destiny, uh, Gemini. It looks like I'm right off the hop here. <laughs> it's incredible. Some of you could be involved with a Sagittarius because the King of Wands, right? And here's the Sagittarius card here, Temperance in the upright position. Temperance is all about getting cooperation here. Uh, very healing energy as well. Um, but this is all about where we're getting other people on board, which is really good, especially in a time frame where you want to take action and get moving. This is a good time. You have a couple of characters here in this reading as well. It's a good time to get other people on board with what you're doing. The uh, temperance uh, energy here, especially following the Wheel of Fortune, this is all about being able to... <clears throat> You know, mix and blend that uh, sometimes large groups of people, getting them all on board with what you're doing at the same time. It's not an easy task, but if anybody can do it, I'm sure the Geminis can do it. You, you're really good. You, you have the gift of gab and, and you know exactly what to say. And it seems like you're in the right energy because you're moving towards your destiny to where you need to go right now. So it's beautiful to have this energy following that because whoever you're getting involved with at this time Gemini it's like these are the right uh, blending and combination of people that are here for some of you there's a fire sign others of you maybe another air sign because now we do have the <laughs> knight of swords here showing up in the upright position this can represent an offer it could be a romantic offer perhaps there is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female, interested in you. This person just wants to come and talk you up. Uh, very, very um, enamored with you. For others of you, this could be representative of a new approach to things. Uh, the, the Knight of Swords can bring in information that can lead to a new approach to things. Also, very, very quick moving. So it looks like this week, Gemini, whatever it is you are doing, you need to move quickly. 
That's all I can say here is you, you got to move quickly. This is what this energy is all about. It's like you have a plan or you're making a plan or someone around you helping you to make the plan. Move now. The time is right. The timing is perfect now to move and you've got to move quickly. Uh, for others of you, this is someone very, very, you know, dashing into your life very quickly. And it couldn't have ended more beautifully. We have the Nine of Cups here in the upright position. This is the wish card. So it looks like a lot of signs are getting their wish this week. But this is beautiful. The, the, the Nine of Cups in the upright position. This points to um, having a wish fulfilled and then celebrating. And you notice how it comes right at the very end. Uh, for some of you who are, because we start going into Gemini season at the very end of this reading. So uh, some of you, maybe you're blowing out the candles and getting your wish. This could be a birthday celebration, definitely for some of you. Uh, for others of you, perhaps this information that comes swiftly and quickly towards you is exactly what you were looking for. It was exactly what you wanted. Uh, or this this person that was coming towards you on a romantic front. This is exactly the person you want to come towards you. It's a dream come true. It's a wish come true. So fabulous reading here, Gemini. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.